if he gave you guys $100 to guess this, you guys probably would never be able to guess what this is. If this was tweeted out by Dexter, F you, right in your goddamn mouth. Streamer Nick Reikita, I don't think I'm saying their name right, says he doesn't care about leaked documents allegedly showing his nine-year-old child's positive powder test. I need to censor this because YouTube will not like this. Before we get into this, let me preface this. Nick is a lawyer, by the way. So he makes law contents, he is a streamer, and he has 444,000 subscribers on YouTube. Going to be a much longer stream, but um, first the release of information that's supposed to be protected at a very specific time right after I announce a show and right before the show starts is, is something that is concerning. And uh, of course, I will have a lawyer looking into that. I know people want to draw conclusions from whatever's going on. And look, there's no way around it. There's nothing to say other than people will get to draw their conclusions. I just think also it's interesting because people are saying he didn't deny it, right? He is a lawyer. Let's not forget this. And lawyers and people who work in law are always very cautious about how they speak because they don't want to say anything that would potentially implicate them. So by him, being a lawyer and not denying it further proves that it's true. That's my personal take on this, right? If the statement was false and it was leaked, all he has to do is go live and say, it's not true. I will sue them for defamation. I will send them a cease and desist. He could not say it's not true if it is a true statement. By not denying it, he's admitting that it's true, essentially. Because he's a lawyer, it holds more weight that he's speaking like this because he's a lawyer. If he was not a lawyer, then he wouldn't have the trained ability to speak in kind of like a very roundabout but also legal way. Lawyers speak in a very interesting way where they never want to speak in a way that implicates them. They're always very cautious how they talk. But they read. I'm not here to fight you guys at all. I'm not here to fight your conclusions. I'm not here to fight or justify or prove anything. I don't need to do that for you. That's true. Believe it or not, a lot of really well-meaning friends want me to do that. And these people are lawyers, which is shocking. They want me, I'm gonna, I'll say it this way. They say, Nick, you need to do X, Y, and Z because of your YouTube channel and your online image. And my response is, sir, madam, I don't know if you know this, but the lowest priority in my life right now is my public image for the purposes of YouTube and Rumble. So any of you who want me to come out here and like do some weird grandiose apology or prostrate myself in front of you, let me just help you with my public image right now. Fuck you. Right in your goddamn mouth. I'm not here to worry about what you think about me. And that should be obvious to damn near anybody. And if you think it's in my character to come out and grovel before you. I don't think anybody thinks this, by the way. I don't think anybody thinks you care about what we think about you. We're just curious as to whether it's true or not. Did your child, your nine-year-old child, test positive for having powder in his system? Or the, her system, I don't know. That's what we care about. No one wants you to grovel and appall- Well, actually, you should, if it is a true thing. But And say, oh, oh, I'm so sorry I let you down. I didn't let you down. You let your child down, which is worse. Who cares about public opinion? Your kid tested positive for powder. I didn't pick you up. I didn't make you and I didn't make promises to you. So if you feel let down by me, let yourself down from the stool, Robin Williams. Is this translation for, there is more shitty behavior of mine that has not been uncovered yet, but set the bar low, cause I'm gonna go lower. I'm not here to own your feelings. And I'm not here to apologize to your feelings and sensibilities either. And if I did, you shouldn't respect me because anybody who comes out like a little fucking bitch and says, I really am worried about my public image, not my family, not my liberty, not holding government accountable, none of that. But my public image, huh? My public image. Well, you're probably a fat Canadian or maybe a skinny Canadian. How did Canadians catch a stray? <laughs> Dude, why did you involve the Canadians in this? What the fuck? Who can't fly to the right city. Or maybe you're a doughy Minnesotan. I don't know who you are. He's from Minnesota, by the way. So he's American. This is like the most deranged video I've ever seen from somebody. Out of all the responses you could have given for being called out for your nine-year-old child having been tested positive for snow in his system, this is not the ex response I would expect. He went on a really weird tangent this entire time. I feel like I need now to be paid back for the three minutes I lost watching that. So we have Fox 9, Nick Rick. 
Rakita, Minnesota lawyer and YouTuber facing snow charge. So Rakita was arrested Thursday along with his wife, Kayla, and, and a fellow online personality. So somebody else was with them. Prosecutors filed charges against Rakita and his wife on Friday for second degree possession, child endangerment, and a gross misdemeanor firearm charge. So they found Kayla Imholtz, I don't know who Imholtz is, and four juveniles inside. So they searched the master bedroom and bathroom where they allegedly found a variety of, you know, really fun substances including three small baggies that tested positive for snow, eight green tablets that tested positive for ketamine, and a digital scale, and several other items that tested positive for snow, charges claim. Authorities also found a Sig Sauer, Sauer AR with several magazines and loose ammunition under the bed, a spent shell casing on the bedroom floor, and located additional firearms and ammunitions in the garage. I'm just saying also, look, man. Um, I've shot guns before because pew pew, you know, it's like rifle target practice. I competed nationally for archery target practice, all that shebang. There is a proper way to store weapons and there is an improper way to store weapons. And you should not own any if you don't use them properly. Loose ammunition under the bed. You should never have a gun and loose ammunition under your bed if you have children, let alone by yourself. You store the bullets away from the gun, away, somewhere safe, okay, in a lockbox, and then you take your pew pew weapon, okay, and then you pack it in a gun case or a bag, and then you store that ideally in a safe somewhere. Should not be easily accessible. Should not be laying beneath your bed with bullets strewn about under your bed because that is really dangerous if you have children. Your child should never be able to accidentally wander into contact with a gun. Police took Rakita and his wife Kayla to custody and he told law enforcement that he and his wife stayed in the master bedroom where law enforcement claimed to find most of the happy substances, but allegedly refused to answer questions about the snow. And apparently, Rakita has several injuries to his arms at the time of his arrest and they described the injuries as sores that are common with controlled substance users. That is crazy. Some people definitely should not have kids. This guy, one of them. I feel really bad for his kids. I feel really bad for the nine-year-old that tested positive for snow. That sucks. And like as a kid, that stuff as a kid will mess, mess you up because you're nine. You're going through childhood development. You're not a fully developed adult yet. And that stuff could impact your development into adulthood. I hope he serves time and I hope he receives the punishment that has happened. Or hopefully it's proven to be false and that the kid was not tested positive. Gun safes are pretty affordable to lawyers. Exactly. He clearly has the money to afford one, right? They afford the proper like storage stuff for it, but because gun safes are kind of expensive. He clearly should be able to afford it. So this makes no sense to me whatsoever. I feel really bad for his kid. And yeah, Nance was a streamer.